We're at the state gym here in Ames, where they know a lot about the benefits of exercise. It's one of the most popular spots on campus, Iowa State students exercising at the state gym. It's no secret that working out helps your physical health, but ask anyone here and they'll say it's also good for mental health. I just feel like when I'm done exercising, I, I'm ready to get the rest of my day going and have a, have a good, productive day. And a new study suggests he's right. Mental health concerns are on the rise. We need to be able to talk about them and then, you know, have, have options to be able to help improve them. Jacob Meyer is a professor of kinesiology at Iowa State. His new study confirms that mental health problems grew during the pandemic when many people could not routinely exercise. Now he and other experts say exercise stimulates the brain and may be good or better than some drugs to treat mental health issues. He says we sit too much. Sitting is sort of a, a sneaky side effect of many of the behaviors that we do and we don't necessarily know how much we're doing it um, and I think becoming more aware of how much we sit and how that might influence our own well-being um, could be really important. Meyer says movement might be a better term than exercise. His research shows simply getting up, getting away from screens and moving around may be enough to do the trick. Doing things that that might not seem like the the exercise you know no pain no gain approach can actually be really useful which I think is cool. So the bottom line, sit less, move more, and you'll feel a lot better right here. In Ames, Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.